Go live already. Go live. Hey, there we are. What is going on, guys? How is it going? Uh, good to be back again. And let's see if we can get Miss Karen closer here. I'll just move the table. You don't have to get up. Look at the background in the back. You may see some geese, some Canadian geese. And uh, we're wishing them all back to Canada. But they have babies, so they're not they're not leaving anytime soon. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi, honey. Well, hi. Cheers. 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 Cheers, Cheers you guys. Welcome. Ah. Who so. all is out there? there? Let's see if we can. I can't see a darn thing. You're gonna have to send me an invite so that I can actually get in here. Before I have to send you an invite. Late. Aren't you supposed to do that pre-post or pre-production? Yes, you're supposed to. What's up with that? And then if you crash, I can carry it. So, yeah. Yeah, no. You didn't do that. No, oh, I see. Well, we'll try. But if you crash, I crash because aren't we on the same, uh, same. Uh, Wi-Fi? How does that work? I don't know. Your computer is different than mine. So. Yeah. Uh, let's try that one. Jim Bertrand. I love that we can select the scheduled live stream before the actual start time. Hope everyone had a great weekend. It's healthy. We had some rain, a little cooler weather in Winnipeg this week. There you Is go. Is there anybody out there? <laughs> <laughs> I responded to Jim. Hopefully, Jim saw my message. Uh, I responded to him. Yeah. yeah. I can't even get into the room until after you start. There, so there you go. Marcy Webb is in the house. The, the comments, and I'm so far behind because I can't get in there unless you send me an invite. Oh, my gosh. I have to. I can't. This. <laughs> So there you go. Couldn't you come up with this before production? Before we have, hey, before we we're live? We talked about it last week. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's so many details. Welcome. Whoa, Nelly is in the house. Marby, Marby. Hello, Marcy Webb is in the house. Can we, can we do bloopers? Can we, can we do bloopers on only the... Only after the fact. Only after the fact, oh, I suppose. Oh, my next so. job. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go through all these lives and pick out all the bloopers. Oh, that would be great. <laughs> you know? I the, think the last blooper reel. The so. Next exit is the house. Hello, Bob, Pearl, Tom, and Lori are in the house. We are again beating out Green Acres, guys. So... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and, hi, Marty. and if you all hi, caught Tom and Lori's video, this this last one, Tom, for you, we are sorry. <laughs> and that, I'm just going to leave it at that. We are sorry. We apologize. And, and we're not going to say another word. Okay. That was re interesting. Yep. <laughs> mm. uh, okay, I got to sit forward. And I got to take back these back glasses back. off because I cannot read. I can't, I can read your names on the screen. I can't see and read the comments. So there you go. Wayne and Carrie, South Florida, and it's rainy down there. Oh my gosh, South Florida. And we were just looking at Thousand Trails. Is it Fiesta Key? Yeah. Uh, there's a couple of Thousand Trails Encore Parks down on Fiesta Key. And just for the fun of it, I tried making a reservation at Fiesta oh, Key. Can schedule. And I was able to make a reservation for Fiesta Key. For now, this time of year. <laughs> for September. <laughs> September, actually. But We're not going to be so in hot. Florida. I just wanted to see if it was ever possible to make a reservation for the Florida Keys for Fiesta Key. Less than a year ahead. Less than a year ahead because we only get 60 days, right? So it can be done. And it can be done. It's just, do you want to be there that time of year? So we, we sympathize with you. We know it's hot down there. I think it was 95. 
when I looked yeah, up the like temperature. Yeah, like ninety-five percent humidity. Oh, they yeah, it, they said with the humidity, it felt like a hundred and eight. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, if we got there by September, we'd be breaking all our rules. Not the snowflake rule. No, not not that one. See? The traveling in the nighttime. And oh, the, yeah. We'd have no. to do a lot of traveling to get it, there by then. Yeah, it takes months to get across country. It really does. That's the plan. Right? Yeah. We, we only travel 70 miles a day, and Florida is... Florida is a long trip. <laughs> so, we about 400 miles or so per month. When we planned our Florida trip, we figured we would be gone for two years. That's how long that round trip yeah. takes. Yeah, that round trip for us took two years to actually make it to Florida, around Florida, up the coast, up the East Coast. By the time we were headed back, it's too cold to go up to Oregon, so we went south. Yeah, no, we. I don't think we really planned on, on Oregon. No, so, not at all. Yeah. There was no way. But we are in no hurry, in no rush. And we are watching these other tubers out there, and they are just zip, bang, boom. Man, they are in this place, in that place. And it's <laughs> like, how can you be five states away the next time that we see a video from you? I, I don't know. We don't have the budget for that much fuel. And uh, and it and for this rig, it does take a lot of fuel. So let me show you real quick where we're at. We are at Sundance Meadows, and I have not put the banner up yet so that you can see that we're at Sundance Meadow. But we've got the lake behind us. There you go. And I don't see any geese out there. Are any, no, they you know, wandered off. The geese... The geese have invaded us. They have been marching by two by two. The coach is right there. We're we're right by the coach. And we are we are boondocking. We are boondocking at our own ranch. What is up with that? <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of people here. No, you should explain the geese parade. Oh my gosh, the geese have been at times, very numerous. I'm looking at them over across the way over there, and they're in a big grassy area. And uh, there's a lot of teenagers. There's a lot of youngsters in amongst them. And uh, I did get video the other day of an eagle that when I first pulled into the spot, an eagle parked and landed right on the tree across the lake from us here, not too far away from where you guys can see. And the geese on the island there just sat there and squawked at him and squawked at him until finally, about 15, 20 minutes later, he flew off. But uh, so and he left empty handed. So he did not get any of the baby geese. No baby. Yes. Yay. So, yeah. But I was watching. I had the camera ready. We we're ready for a, a National Geographic moment. <laughs> I would have had to put up a warning. This this video not intended for children. <laughs> Baby geese may be harmed during this video. <laughs> but there is, there are a pair of eagles that come very regularly and they sit in the trees up above and they watch this lake behind us and they're always looking for uh, an easy meal. And yeah. um, you want to see about 50 grown and upset adults adults older adults when that <laughs> eagle swaps swoops down and grabs a duckling or something this place oh comes unglued God. so <laughs> these people get really upset <laughs> and it's you know it's a it's a it's the circle of life i i think i mean you know oh, yeah, it is. i i i just look at it as you know this is how other critters survive and uh or don't, <laughs> or don't. so uh, meant to be rving is in the house i can see the wcrv adventures welcome glad to have you back oh RC my web says it's in the mid 90s in the middle mid atlantic Ooh. Also, and horribly humid. Yeah. Which, 
Yeah, I don't miss that. I don't yeah. miss the humidity and I don't miss the ticks. How have the ticks been? You have to this tell year. me. Yeah, yeah the, the year that we were there, which was last year, right? Last spring. Yeah. Last last spring. The ticks yeah. were horrid. You, I wouldn't even walk into tall grass and I would feel them crawling up my legs. Just, we had to do tick checks every night. And uh, I do not miss that. Okay, honestly. everybody talks about all the bugs, like mosquito type bugs in Florida and how bad they can be. And in Florida, we had nothing no. compared to what we heard. Yeah, no, Florida was wonderful. I, I, and then we started heading up the coast in the spring, up the east coast in the spring. And that's when we got into the whole tick fest. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh. So. Yeah. And we had to learn very quickly how to remove ticks, how to, oh, it was not pretty, folks, I'm telling you. Let's just say not too long after that, I went through the whole Lyme disease treatment, just to be on the same, <laughs> safe, <laughs> side, on the safe side, I didn't know what the heck was going on. No, so. <laughs> no. But yeah, no, I had at least two. I think, Miss Karen, did you have two? Uh, one that had, one. had embedded that you okay. had to take out. Oh my gosh. Which was not fun. No. And yeah. none of the usual treatments to remove them was working. And uh, I'll tell you what, it was, uh, I, I was creeped out completely. So, yeah. no kidding. No. So, Rich Life of Road Trips. Hi. Hey, welcome. welcome. Glad welcome. to see you. That's a new name. So glad to see you. Glad to have you along. Oh my gosh. I'm a little behind on comments here. I heard Tom and Lori say they don't have the energy to travel that fast. Mm -mm. And <laughs> we don't blame you. Beautiful backdrop. Um, Wayne and Carrie were saying they thought we'd be experimenting with some green screen by now. I Not have with to, this, we, we have, don't have to. <laughs> okay, with any luck, we are meeting with Bob and Pearl, and they're going to go over the green screen with us. Shortly, and, yeah. and, and hopefully. Before too long. <laughs> but is this not a bad background? I mean, you know, really, we, we strive to provide the best background in YouTube entertainment is right here. So you just need to come here, right? Yeah, exactly. Right, right. <laughs> we love it here. But yeah. when we can't, when we're oh. inside, it would be nice if it looked like we were sitting on a beach in Hawaii. See, so. Yeah, true. Right? Yeah. So. Palm trees. Yes. Sand beaches. Exactly. Uh, we, we participated in an Our Village get-together, uh, and it was a lot of fun, and we just, we, we were not the source of entertainment for this get together oh, for this one particular time no yeah we, <laughs> we were watching everybody else we were do watching what everybody we else do. and there was a gentleman there and i don't i i forget his name now you mean earl uh, earl okay with the beach background with the beach background he had swaying palm trees and and yeah. and rolling beaches <laughs> <laughs> pretty cool uh, and we all, and he, he had, a, he had the look of Ho, a Hawaiian. Yes, he did. So yeah. he fit the background well. And Karen and I were looking at him going, is he really in Hawaii? No, is he no. really on the, the beach? Green screen. But you were go <laughs> drooling for a bit there. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Tom and Lori, Tom, I assume, said, I just swooped down on a plate of pasta. <laughs> oh, good for you. Good for you. <laughs> And meant to be our being says pasta sounds good. Yeah. Jeez, now we're on food. Yeah, we're now we're <laughs> on food again. We had pizza oh. last. Was it last week? No, we didn't. Last week uh, we were at Thousand Trails, right? We had pizza. Last oh, we had week. pizza last yeah. week. Yeah, we're due for pizza again. But pizza is Thursday night, and we—I don't remember Not what we. Yet. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh. Wayne and Carrie said we thought it was a green screen. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing a really good job. Yeah, see? <laughs> uh, yeah. Now, with um, any luck, we will have the parade of Canadian geese come by. I see them over there. They're eating on the grass. 
And uh, did you explain the parade yet? <laughs> I have. Well, sort of. Uh, he 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 caught it on videotape. Um, they tend to move around the ranch, and in the mornings they're out on the lake, but then they decide to go over to a big grass field mid morning. And they don't fly, they walk, and they all walk in this long parade. So he sets the, the GoPro down, kind of hidden in the grass, right about where they walk by. And he gets the entire group of geese walking by. And one even trips over the camera. We have that <laughs> on video. <laughs> we gotta figure out what to do with it. Right, to put well, it you out, know, sometimes you know? we get this footage and it's like, what do you do with that? It's like, how do you incorporate that into a video or, you know, how do you, right. yeah. Well, so. you know, if, if we do a, a review of the ranch here, I guess we could put it into that video. We could, we could. Yeah. So if you guys want to see the geese, <laughs> let me know. I will take you on a little field trip uh, right over walk there, over there and I will them. show you the geese. There's, there's only, oh. there's only about. Oh, I'd say there's 20 or 30 over there. I, I Some of them are behind the coach. But uh, we are boondocking at the ranch. Uh, we moved over here yesterday. Yesterday. And uh, Miss Karen actually got out of moving. You didn't. <laughs> I bagged on him. You, but... <laughs> you, you went to Salem. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> and and I had to move. We have comments move. we have to address here. <laughs> okay. Yes, he had to move by himself. I had to move by Bad. myself. <laughs> uh, Rich Life of Road Trips says it looks nice where we're at. And next exit said no need for a green screen because of where we're at. It's really nice. Oh, uh, thank you. And Rich Life of Road Trips says they are on our village. So we'll have to hook up with oh, you on yeah. our village. Oh, yeah. Send us a friend request yeah. on our village. We are our endeavor on our village. And uh, absolutely send us a friend request. We uh, we love uh, getting together with people. So, and it's kind of our village, if you're not familiar with it, is kind of the Facebook of the RV life. Yeah, but it's just RVers. So, yeah, you know, that's you, the nice thing yeah. is, is that it's not a bunch of yahoos and you can connect everybody. With people and see where everybody's at. And, that kind and what of a wealth of information. I mean, if we ever had a problem, God forbid, knock on wood. It's like we haven't had problems. Right. Yeah, but we don't. We don't want to <laughs> invite major. them. All right. Nothing major. But it, you know, it is kind of nice that you could put out a post, and it's like Facebook, where they can see it. Everybody around you can see it, and if you need help, um, you have a. I mean, there is rarely a time when we don't have a bunch of people. Plethora of people. Yeah. Who who have ideas and may be able to come help. And, right. Yeah. And yeah. The community and, is amazing. Yeah, it really is. It really is. So that, that was the reason for going to the live the other night. We had a lot of fun over there. And uh, we'll, we'll do it Get again. Get to know some new people. They yeah. were doing one on stills and moonshine. The next night. The next night. We didn't catch that because we were we busy. Should have. Yeah, we should have. I can make coffee, but I have not figured out how to make our own alcohol. And... Heaven forbid we should. If we yeah. figure that out, we're in trouble. Oh, that would be bad, wouldn't it? Oh, my God. Mm. Let me put this out there. We are still looking. We have two full time people out there we are still looking for one more full-time person what we want to do is a live where we invite uh at least three other couples in and talk about the ins and outs and what you see uh for rv full-time life on youtube versus what it's like in real life real and life yeah when you yeah. run into issues can you handle it right and yeah. is full-time life really for you so um we are still looking for one more couple and i'd like to have two just for a backup in case there is connection problems because obviously 
being in the full-time life there, you know, our Wi-Fi, our cell connection is not always guaranteed. As you've seen right here on our lives, <laughs> it's not always guaranteed. And in fact, we had Lucy at Woe Nelly covering for us last week, holding when, our... When we're, ours dropped off, she was holding our plane. Lucy was holding the <laughs> channel. And every time we came back, she was interacting with the with the crowd. <laughs> Entertained. Thank <laughs> and you, Lucy. thank you, Lucy. I want to really yeah. appreciate that because you know this this connection is not always guaranteed. No. You never know, you know. Jim Bertrand says, "Nice haircut, Dave." I saw that. <laughs> this is a coronavirus cut. All right. I haven't got a chance to fix it yet. Uh, what do you mean fix right. it? You don't need to fix it. You it's have an fine. alfalfa going on. I have a. I I do. <laughs> Only I can see it. <laughs> Jim, you get points for today. Thank you. I appreciate it. Lucy said she was glad she could help. Mm. So um, Tom and Lori says they'll do it. Yeah, okay. All yeah, right. Good. Would you guys I you know, we have asked you to be on you have been on the lives before. Yeah. And uh well, we would okay. love to have you guys. You guys are definitely in. So if you'd like to be in, we'd absolutely love to have you. So you've experienced a lot of stuff. Yeah, you years. have. Yeah, 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 exactly. We all have. Yeah. You know, there is a reality to full time life that. Um, how much does it pay? Yeah, how, much, how much does it pay? I'm afraid it doesn't pay very much. OK, but think about all the people okay. that you're helping. <laughs> Marty Edwards is going to have. <laughs> Good one, Marty. Oh, <laughs> is my hair cut that bad? Wait a minute. Where, where's my... Wait a minute. If I was there. Nice one. How's that? All right. That makes it better. <laughs> how do we block Marty? All right. No, you're not going to block Marty. I don't Marty. block Marty. I won't let you. <laughs> She's a part of the group. <laughs> Love it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you guys are ruthless. Oh, Wayne and Carrie, I saw your comment. We're not ignoring it. We'll get to that eventually. Oh, we got a comment from Wayne. Okay. All right. We, we got to go back. We got to backtrack to why you had to move by yourself. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, we had to. <laughs> so, Miss Karen left me. She She left me. Wait a minute. There. You, can you draw a little she was teardrop gone. on the bottom of your glasses? There. She left me. She was no. gone. All right. Oh, <laughs> she said, I've had enough. I'm gone. I'm out of here. For mm. the day. <laughs> and then she came back the next, the same day. I can't yeah. even say the next day. You were, you were back the same day. So I went, I went for a day trip that turned out to be a really long explore all of Oregon. Well, most of Oregon day trip. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <You got that. laughs> Jim wants to know if I ran out of ice. That's what I ran out of. <laughs> oh, yeah. she would leave for that. Jim knows that. <laughs> Did she run out of ice? What is it? <laughs> That's about right. Oh, Funny. No, she had a family function over in Salem. They had scheduled uh, Portland, this. Portland, actually. Por Por Portland. Yeah, yeah, my mom's in Portland, and she said, Wait, Salem, I haven't seen Portland. you. They're, they're like this far away on the map, all right? Just no, that far away on the map. Far away. <laughs> so. Anyways, she hadn't seen us for a little while because of the coronavirus, and they haven't been seeing anybody and now that things have loosened up a little bit she said come on over let's get together have dinner so and of course it was a day that we were supposed to move yeah so i did a day trip drive to portland which is about three and a half hours over the mountains and i was going to stay for a few hours stay have dinner and then drive back over towards the evening and be back by dark yeah well Guess what happens when you're across the mountains? 
somebody starts a wildfire up on the mountains and they close the highway. They did. And it happens all the time, unfortunately. Oh. And, uh, you know, even the small fires, if the fire department or the forestry service to fight the fire needs the highway, they will close that puppy down in a heartbeat. And uh, so they detoured me and into, is it okay to say BFE Oregon? <laughs> <laughs> is that bad to say? This is, you know, there could be, <laughs> okay. we have had children watching. <laughs> So yeah, occasionally okay. we've had usually they're so, related to us. So rural Oregon, way eastern rural Oregon. Right. <laughs> I went a long way around to come back. Went all the way to Mopping, <laughs> and uh, if you, you were know where Mopping is, congratulations. Yeah, because nobody else. Nobody does. else does except for a slight few, and uh, she had to go all the way over to Mopping to go all the way around. <laughs> I have been that route before. I've, I've lived in Oregon my whole life, and I've never been to Maupin <laughs> until now. <laughs> it is a pretty drive, though. I mean, it is. yeah. I was impressed. Well, yeah. at first it was a little dry and hills, but then it got really pretty in the, the second half of it. So, yeah. yeah. Well, now I've been to Maupin, Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dang. Yeah. So Dave had to move the coach by himself. I had to move ooh, the coach ooh, by ooh. myself. Right. Yeah. She's not feeling too sorry for me. But no. it is. it does take a couple hours of planning. Usually an hour and a half of that is involved in sitting on the couch thinking about moving. <laughs> but I still count that in <laughs> with with the two hours to move. And uh, I had to go out and pick up the barbecue by myself, the rug, the all the stuff on the table. Terrible. And it was awful. I was feel sorry for me. <laughs> I didn't. And she didn't. Josh's <laughs> uh, man, this is so much better than Green Acres. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Another ratings bump. We're already up to 443,000 subscribers, so we'll we'll take it. <laughs> uh, no. What else we got out there? Uh, 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 Rich Life of Road Trips is going to send us a friend request. Absolutely. Please do. If you are on our village and you haven't friend requested us yet, send us a friend request. We generally will to those as quick as possible. They also want to know if we've seen Bigfoot. Have we seen Bigfoot? Karen's the one driving through the forest. <laughs> Have you seen? No, but some friends of mine swear up and down they did. Mm. Yeah. No matter where you go in Oregon, it seems like everybody has a big, Bigfoot story. And uh, yeah, anybody... there are a lot of uh, uh, hill, uh, mountains and woodlands up in the mountain area, and that's where they hang out so. yeah yeah and if you're a hunter in this part of the land you've got to generally have a bigfoot story <laughs> at least something that you could not explain true that yep. is very true yeah jim bertrand says you'd have to send karen gps coordinates to find you in the endeavor <laughs> <laughs> I have I not have to find him she she here. knows this house moves <laughs> all right so I'm very careful about that. So she typically knows where it is at all times. Oh. Hey, if I don't come find him, he's going to have to come find me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> where did she go? Where did she go? <laughs> She's supposed to be here. At least I can come to you. So, <laughs> oh my gosh. No. Uh, next exit says, my guess is Miss Karen is sitting next to Bigfoot. Right. <laughs> 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 we're we're working on the get on a big foot here. Yeah. <laughs> At Rich Life of Road Trips says Dave, don't let Bigfoot run off with Karen. <laughs> yes. She would go too in a hot minute. Hey, Bigfoot, you got ice? <laughs> as long as he's got ice, she's good to go. 
Well, in that case, I may not. So. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. Oh. Can, can we talk drama for a minute? Drama. We <laughs> have had think. drama at the ranch. Oh, drama. Yeah. Oh my. Oh my gosh. So, um, we have been. So I've we've been owners at Sundance Ranch for uh, over five years now. Yeah. And apparently they had a board meeting. Now the the board is other owners who have have. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Who have volunteered in the? There is a president of the board that is elected in. Apparently, two weeks ago they had a meeting, a board meeting. There was a group of. The old bone uh, board uh, members, yeah, and the new board members had a huge disagreement. Now we don't know what happened, but apparently the old board members took a group of people out with them, and the new board members continued the meeting inside. I have not got the meet, the minutes on that yet. Yeah, that'd be interesting to see. First time ever from what was confirmed on the newsletter that was in my statement, there's ever been this big of a division. Apparently, the old board, uh, board members hired an attorney. There is attorneys involved and the new board members hired an attorney and we don't know what happened but people are kind of losing it over this whole covid thing and this is adding an added layer of stress we don't know what has actually transpired what has what has gone on i am dying to see the minutes we you know, because we are gone so much, we don't volunteer for the board. We we vote for people on the board. But, but we hear bits and pieces, yeah. We hear little bits and pieces, and we just kind of take it in stride. But we've never heard of anything like this. Well, it was confirmed in the newsletter that came out with our statements last month um that there was a big hub of blue so we will keep you informed if we hear any more on that but what they're doing what they're up to yeah that kind of thing yeah we you know i i kind of feel bad because this has never happened before and i can't help but think that people are just they are sick and tired of this whole covid thing um, it's something that we've never, yeah, we've never had stuff. to deal with before. None of us have. I mean, when you say that in a worldwide context that none of us have had to deal with this, we really have not. I mean, in a limited sense, you know, some viruses have broke out in regional parts of the world, but never worldwide. And uh, even the new protest i was reading on the news as early as this morning the new protest theme is anti-mask and it just goes on we we you know yeah masks masks are appropriate in certain situations but to protest over it yeah if you don't like the masks don't go into the store don't go out in public stay home. You know, I don't like the masks, but there have been a few times, including a certain medical procedure that we shall not talk about. (laughs) Voldemort. The Voldemort, the Voldemort procedure. I had to wear a mask (laughs) to go into the hospital. Totally expected, totally understood. Yeah, of course. But otherwise, we try to stay out of the stores. We even ordered uh, this last order of groceries and so forth uh, via Amazon and uh, uh, Walmart online shopping, which if you haven't done that yet, we really are enjoying. We Pretty cool. Although we, like they, we didn't like their last selection of veggies. But we've had 
really good choices before. Yeah. So it's kind of a, you yeah, know, we, this is the third or fourth time that we've done it. And normally we've gotten the veggies that we've gotten is like as good as I would have picked in the grocery store had I been there. This last one, you should have seen the lettuce. What? You should have seen. There I mean, so the many... mushrooms. The mushrooms were. We we got a one pound package of mushrooms. Sure. They were sad. All right. But there's so many things that we needed that we wanted on our list that they just didn't have. So I'm thinking a lot of things were picked over. Yeah. Yeah. So and it was right before the Fourth of July holiday. Yeah. So everything's yeah. really. So picked everything's over. really picked over. So Bob and Barbara are are chasing Bigfoot up in Laconer, Washington. Oh my gosh, I want to go up there so bad. Is it nice up there? Hopefully it is. We have not gotten a chance to visit in in uh, Laconer and really the whole Washington area. So it is on our list to go up and yeah, see. Yeah, definitely. And they're so close. Yeah. So, oh my gosh, no, Karen is sitting next to the coffee creeper. <laughs> getting to that <laughs> you're not bigfoot you're the coffee creeper wait we have a t-shirt idea for the coffee creeper who oh, brought yeah. that up was it it's wc happening. was it wc rv adventures that did you originally, guys bring that up originally creeper up. i think that was last week two weeks ago thanks, two weeks but, ago yes um we are working on a t-shirt should i do you know yeah, you might as well go into it do you know where the artwork is on that? No. You don't know where it's at? No. Okay. <laughs> it's in there. We are working. The we coach. love the idea. And we are working on the coffee creeper idea. And we are develop. It is a, a kind of a Starbucks kind of coffee, coffee cup with the two birds sitting cheap on birds. top the cheap birds <laughs> sitting on top of it i have to go in and look can you handle the show i'm going to leave karen for just a second let me go see if i can find the artwork you have on to there answer a question though okay. i want to know are the owners all the owners here are they all RVers or is it a mix of folks it is a mix of folks <laughs> yeah I, the, i'm not so knowledgeable on who all yeah. is here there are some part time, some full time. Um, it was brought up I'll at the. Find your at, are creeper. you going to find it? Okay. It it was <laughs> brought up at the last board meeting that there were a lot of dead deeds, and uh, not sure exactly how many that is, but sadly there are some owners that die that you know are no longer with us, and uh, those those deeds these are recorded deeds with the county and they are we have we have people fishing behind us so i apologize <laughs> you can fish in this lake uh but anyway um so i i don't know exactly how many um active owners are are here in t in participating but uh Oh, and Karen, Miss Karen found it. Look at this. Look at, can we show you this? All right. <laughs> there you go. That is, we're working on that <laughs> for a t shirt, guys. <laughs> we will. Hopefully, they got that. <laughs> Because you get all the comments. I can't see them on right. this end. Uh, so, yeah, we are. I, I know they're always looking for new owners to be here. And it really is. We have enjoyed it. We pay it right now. I think we started off. We were about $35 a month that we were paying um, for a spot here. We are. I think now, that was five, five years ago. We are up to $51 a month, and that allows you four months' use of of the product. Actually, four months of overnight. So you can come here all year long and, right, right. and be on the property. Staying, yeah, you get four months. But to stay overnight in the RV park or in the 
the lodge or the bunkhouse, as they call it. They have rooms and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. So. Jim Bertrand wants to know, is one of the creeper birds, creeper? They're not both creeper birds. There's only one. There's only bird. one creeper. So one, can, can, can you guess which yeah. one is the Miss Karen <laughs> creeper bird? I'm not a creeper bird. <laughs> Is that awesome or it's what, guys? If one of them is emitting a tracking beacon. Uh, probably, <laughs> probably that one right up there. All right. <laughs> RFID no. or tracking signal. All of the apps that I've gotten on the phone do not work. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, all right. So, Bruce Murray says, put me put down me for two. two. <laughs> <laughs> Love the logo uh, for the shirt. Yeah. Awesome. yeah, we are working on that. That is that is the new, those are the new creeper birds. <laughs> All right. They're cheap birds. All oh, the cheap birds. The they're cheap. There's only one that's a creeper bird. There's only one that's a <laughs> coffee creeper. <laughs> get this right. You got to get it right. Yeah, we will get it right. <laughs> You know, Miss Carrot is so artistic, and we have we have been playing around. There's my new, if you can see it on my sleeve there. We have been playing around with silk screen. Yes. And uh, we have just been having a ton of fun in this whole coronavirus thing, playing around with T-shirt ideas. We are to the point where we have more T-shirt ideas then we have either T-shirt or supplies to put them on T-shirts. <laughs> we're ordering stuff right and left. But, um, yeah, we're looking at uh, taking our website and adding the store part of it and starting to sell T-shirts from there. Yeah. Looking into it. Yeah, we're, we're uh, trying out different inks and seeing what we like and what's the best for what we want to do. Yeah. So we're still in the play experiment stage, but we will have T-shirts shortly and we will start uh, putting them up for sale. Yeah, and that supports the channel. So we appreciate it. And, uh, you know, we are on a limited budget. We don't have a, a massive budget to work on, but... Uh, Little by little. Little by little. Yeah, every little bit helps. And, oh, look at Miss Karen has her Lucy artwork. Lucy asked. Lucy asked? So, we've been talking about doing a giveaway for a while now. And I have three of these ready to go for a giveaway. So, what yeah. I would like to do. And Bob and Pearl should recognize that one. They actually had that one in one of their, uh, in, in one of their videos oh right right yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that's the uh oatman near oatman near oatman yeah that was the background to yes. oatman so do you want to hold those up so it... so <sighs> what we're talking about doing oh we have to turn <laughs> that one wait a minute that turn way. <laughs> turn it that way all right impromptu yeah there we go there we go. So we've been talking about giveaways forever. And what we I can't to keep do... it. She gathers this stuff and she makes it like Lucy and rocks. Desi and Lucy. Desi don't, and Lucy. Don't go whoa Nelly Lucy. It's not Larry Is Lucy. it not? No, not whoa Desi Nelly Lucy. Lucy. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> that movie, The Long Long Trailer. Which we still curse light. Tom and Lori <laughs> is the ones that had to show us that movie again. And these are Karen's anyway, rocks, all right? Kind of, sort of. Kind of, kind of, sort of, yeah. Uh, what I would like to do, and since he's always busy doing other stuff, and, and he knows how to do the online drawing kind of thing, I'd rather do it old school. Yeah. So yeah. if you want to be in the drawing for, we're going to do one painting every two weeks. Yeah. And if you want to be in the drawing for the first painting, which I believe we'll start with this one. Okay. I'm going to have you put in the chat room, put paint or painting. 
and we'll put your name in the drawing. And in two weeks from now, we're going to put all the names in a hat and actually draw a name out of the hat online live. Yeah. So the first one will be on July 26th, two weeks from now. If you aren't here for the live, send us an email. You better put up the email up there. Okay. This is the same email for stickers. I, yeah, I will put that send up. Send us an email that you want the painting, and we'll put you in the drawing. And for the next two weeks, we're going to collect names. And on the 26th, we will put all the names in a hat, and we will physically draw it out of the hat and announce it during the live. And we'll send that to you free of charge. There's no, we're not. We're not charging anything for it. If you'd if you'd like that painting and that is something that you would enjoy, then uh, let us know. We will draw it out of a hat, and whoever wins, we will we will send that off to you. So, so in two weeks, if you are not if you're on the live or afterwards, if you are not one the one person who is drawn, you can re-enter for the second painting, and then we'll go another two weeks. And then we'll draw another name for the second painting. And then we'll do it again for two weeks for the third painting. So, and we'll do it right here on the live. So the next Sunday, we will pull the names for that one. And we will show the next one that is available. Yes. And I think somebody had mentioned in there that Karen is so talented. She really is. Um, to see her, I had three years of art in high school that was the amount of my uh the sum of your training the sum <laughs> of my training she's been doing it all her life and yeah. she loves to just sit down and just paint. paint yeah yeah so uh this will be a lot of fun and we thought you know what we'd love to give it away so yeah the yeah. first one will be july 26th two weeks after that will be august 9th and the third and final would be August 23rd. And we'll announce them at each live. At each live. Yeah, we'll bring it up. And you'll get so. to see the actual drawing and see who wins. Yeah. And then we'll send that one off and move on to the next. Yeah, which one is this one for this week? This week is... No, that's the one this week. Where did you get this, this picture? Where did you... Where was this picture at? There have been a couple different thousand trail parks that have ponds that have lily pads and the flowers and in various colors and i've taken a lot of pictures and this painting is off of those pictures fun yeah she gets her inspiration from the different pictures that she, you usually take yes when I she's do, when i'm pictures. sitting there filming and i'm running around filming and i'm talking to you guys she's off taking pictures and these are some of the pictures and some of those she takes and she goes, you know what? I'd like to paint that. <laughs> <laughs> there are a thousand things I want to paint. <laughs> yeah. My next painting is going to be the little burrows at Oatman. I haven't got there yet, but that's my next one. Oh, fun. Next exit asks that we show them again. Oh my. Goodness. This is the lily pond. Yeah. Yeah, you got to. Yeah, I got to see if I can <laughs> get my it. fingers off of it. And this is this is this is on canvas. And what is what eight is eight by this? ten is the size. They're uh, thin. They're not boarded canvas, so they're very light for traveling in RVs, which yes. is great. They they are not really rocks, guys. I, <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like it. Second no. one, the second drawing is going to be the sunset over water. That'll be fun. I can't see it, so I'm, yeah, I'm guesstimating. Yeah. No, there you go. And uh, third and final drawing is going to be that mountaintop. What is it? Thimble Mountain? Yeah, I think that was Thimble Oatman. Mountain in near Oatman. It's right out of Crystal Springs. And if you stop at the little yes. uh, at the little rest cool, area cool there. Springs? Yeah. Cool, cool Springs? Cool yeah. Springs. Cool Springs. Yeah, yeah. There you go. So there you go. But anyway, oh, fun. Looks like you have a lot of people. A lot of people are going to be yeah. entered. And if you weren't here during the live and you're watching this after the fact, the email is running below to send it to if you want to be entered. In yeah, drawing. send an email to us and just write painting in the reference uh, in the uh, 
and the what does they call that the the response the how do you title <laughs> we'll know what you mean we'll put it down in the subject line or in the email and ask well. us for a sticker too <laughs> and stickers are there too you ask for a t-shirt she might even throw in a t-shirt i don't know we're working on the t-shirts. we're working on we're the t-shirts okay yet. we're done Quite We're still testing out and having yeah. having fun with the t-shirts. <laughs> Imagine Travel says they just stopped in. They've been hanging with the neighbors. Didn't what? you tell them it was happy hour? <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh yeah. All right, guys. Imagine so. a subject line. Thank you. Imagine subject Travel line. says subject yeah. lines. I yeah. yeah. There you go. Marcy the, says they look send great. Us, Thank you. Thank yeah, you so much. Send us an email in the subject line. Just just put in painting. We'll put your name in the hat and we will draw yep. two weeks from now. Yep. So, and we will send those out 15% to you. 15% odds, Jim says. <laughs> 15%. Those Better are good odds. The lottery. Why not? You know, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Uh, we have about nine minutes left. What uh, if you guys have any questions for us? Uh, shoot them at us. We'll try to to uh, answer those as best as possible. You know, we kind of fly by the seat of our pants because we like just <laughs> sharing with you guys, and uh, this is kind of the fun of being on there. Lori and uh, Tom, I hope you guys are doing well. Hope everybody is doing well. Sure, yeah. So, yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, what crazy times we I, I tell you what. I, there's part of me can't wait to get back on the road again, and uh, there's part of me that it's like, well, everything is closed. Are you guys just tired of this whole COVID thing? <sighs> and the increasing numbers. Oh, man. Yeah, um, you know, in the news today, uh, Florida had a record number of new cases, 15,000 in a 24-hour period, I, and it just makes me cringe. It's like, already we're not going to the store, but now I really don't want to go to the store. Oh, yeah. You know? Oh, Lori says they're doing great, just hot. Yeah, well, we're not right now, as you can see. Yeah. <laughs> the wind was kicking up, and I'm like, yeah. It's actually pretty, it's it's a little cool with the wind blowing. It's actually Imagine just Imagine Travels, perfect. they've been having happy hour for the last few hours. <laughs> we, well, Jeez. we try not to start that early because people <laughs> tend to call you an alcoholic if you start that early. So we... we we wait till five o'clock. It's kind of a rule. But, uh, and then by the time that we get to you at six o'clock, we're nice and primed and we're ready. Right? Exactly. Yeah. There you go. Well, Christine's here. She's a friend of Next Exit. Hi, Christine. A lot of people are saying they're tired of this whole COVID thing. They agree. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're kind of over it, too. We're ready for them. Please come out with a vaccine. Get us out of this. I've, we'd like to start going to places and not wearing a mask and, you know, some sort of normalcy to life. So, um, I, you know, I can't help but say it. at least the protests have gone from there was Black Lives Matter. There was, you know, a lot of protests out there to uh anti-mask and now i read in the news yeah, over the last couple about... of days they're all about protests about anti-mask i can't blame them but at the same time it's like we all have to do our part so hopefully uh hopefully that doesn't turn into anything big because uh we're just we're all tired of it <laughs> <laughs> But I'm not going to march out there and protest about it. No, I'm not going to no. march out there and no. protest. I'll just and, deal with it on my own yeah. and, and do what you have to do. Yep, yep. So. Uh, Jim was asking about the motorcycles. Oh, the motorcycles? While I was out and about. No. Yeah. So the plan is we're, we're back here. We're going to be here for, what, two weeks? And we're 
a week to two weeks, and yeah. then we're gonna go out to our secret hideout in the pine. The and secret where RV. The motorcycles are. They're hanging out down there, and yeah. then attack that whole project yeah. of of uh, storage and motorcycles and yeah all that stuff. That is a week or two weeks in the future. Yeah, I've got, you know, one of the things that, tra you know, traveling around the country and bringing the bikes with us, one of the things that uh, really got me, I've never seen it before, because my bikes have always been in garages or, you know, covered in one sense or, or another. Um, the, the plastic on both the bikes got really weathered sun, sun baked sun. and uh yeah. you know which really kind of breaks my heart because three uh, months in florida i can't imagine why yeah you know i i suppose there is a good thing to be said about uh traveling around the country and and chasing 70 degree weather but uh yeah the bikes really suffered a lot so there's there is some plastic to re replace on those we have not decided if we're selling the bikes or not. I really don't want to. I know. I think about it, and, and it's like, wow, you know, that's a toy. I don't want to get rid of my toy. Yeah, and we we did not do a lot of riding while we were over on the East Coast. There is not a lot of riding on the East Coast to be had. And it wasn't until we got back over to the West Coast that I was finally able to get going and riding again. Um, there's just not a lot of public lands over on the East Coast, and you're more confined to private land, private property where they allow riding. Occasionally, there was one place in Florida that we were able to ride, but it's just really limited on the East Coast. Right. So, but, uh, you know, getting over to Quartzsite and getting over to the so, west coast yeah there's so much area in quartzite in that area so. yeah howard's so. just popping in hi howard How hello howard lots of comments here <laughs> oh we'll see if we can tackle them uh imagine travel security guards at the walmart doors in delaware Dang. yeah making sure yeah we we have seen that and uh even the local walmart here has closed down one entire entrance. So now you must go. Um, you know, yeah. Walmarts generally have an entrance on the left and an entrance on the right, whether, you know, which one is which is, is hard to say. But uh, in the case of the one here locally, they changed it over to on the left. So even if you park all the way over on the right-hand side of the parking lot, you have to walk all the way over. To the other to the other entrance yeah and uh they are requiring you to go in so they one can watch entrance. You. Yeah. yeah yeah uh rich life said in north carolina it's suggested but it is isn't you don't have to good for you guys if you don't want to uh he says i have an as i have asthma so i can't wear one i passed out as a day Hey, we are with you on the whole mask it's thing. You know, cool. I don't think it's right for a governor to say that their state mandates it or must wear masks. I think it's a good idea if you can. And uh, I think it's wrong to require it. And I think it's really wrong to... A strong suggestion, sure, but not Yeah, right. I think it's really wrong to expect that people are going to be threatened by a governor. This is the person you elected to be your governor. And when they're threatening you, I, I, I have a real problem with that. I think that uh, it's, a, it's a good idea. I think that everybody should, but to threaten you with law enforcement or to say that the police are going to fine you or cite you or arrest you for not wearing one, I have a problem with that. Yeah, that is. So, yeah. Richard Butts says here in Texas, if our numbers don't come down, the governor is going to lock us down here in Texas. Yeah. So... That is kind of the threat uh, nationwide, we're folks. Not. Yeah, we're, we're hoping not. I am really hoping this 
this uh, gets under control um, because I am fearful of another shutdown. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's, it's one thing to have to wear a mask. It's another thing to have everything shut down. So hopefully uh, that won't happen. But, yeah, Lucy says she gets an instant headache when she wears one. It just gives her a headache. You know, I do not look uh, badly at somebody that's in a store that's not wearing one. And thankfully, none of the law enforcement in, uh, in, in at least in Deschutes County, where we're at now, is enforcing this. They're, they are more looking at it as it is a recommendation. Um, so I don't see anybody being arrested or cited. And when I see somebody in a store that doesn't have one on, good for you. I, I, it's not for me. I'm going to wear one. Yeah, do what do what you feel you should do. But moreover, I'm not going to go in the store if I have any way of avoiding it. In which case, ordering online, um, you know, curbside pickup, things like that. Yeah. So, Howard says, well, I didn't vote for her. (laughs) (laughs) No comment. We're not going to get into the political side of this. We avoid that at all costs. (laughs) It is an hour and 55 seconds into the show. We, this is the end of it, guys. We, we are, we are done for another week. We're going to have to say goodbye. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next week. Oh, everybody, please stay safe, stay well. Next exit said they don't make ugly folks wear masks, just saying. <laughs> so that's why we never have to wear them. <laughs> We're with you. All right, we gotta go. <laughs> we gotta go. On that note, oh, we yeah. gotta go. <laughs> but uh, we will see you guys next week. We always enjoy getting together with you. You are like family. It's great oh. to have you guys along. And we will see you next week, next Sunday, 6 p.m. As always, For hopefully we have Wi-Fi signal. We'll we will. We'll, we'll be we're here. here. Yeah. We're here. Yeah. So. So. All right. We'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. We will see you guys next week. Safe travels and live life full time every day. Everybody be well. All right. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Cheers, Imagine Childs. Cheers. Cheers. Stay well, all Marcy. <laughs> yeah. All you guys. Yeah. yeah. You guys all take care. Oh. Take care, guys. We'll see you next week. There you go. <laughs> Now, what if you can't sign off if the computer won't let